listen, it's time for the Jack LaLanne Show from Hollywood. Starring the world-famous nutritionist, author, lecturer, and physical culture expert on your figure and beauty. And now, here is the man who will show you how to feel better, look better, Jack LaLanne. Good morning, happy Monday morning to you. Thanks very, very much for letting me come into your home. You know, my name is Jack LaLanne. And I'm here for one reason and one reason only, to show you how to feel better and look better so you can live longer. Please keep your dial right where it is because I want to become real good friends with you. You know, there has been so much talk of late about the importance of exercise, the importance of better nutrition, the importance of positive thinking. All of these things we are going to learn together. I like to consider myself as your personal physical instructor and your health consultant coming into your home every day. You know, and there's also many of you students who say, Jack, I know, I know, I know that I need exercise, but well, it's too boring, it isn't any fun, and I can't do it, or I'm too old. These are all excuses, because I'm going to be here to show you how much fun and how easy exercise, well, I don't like to call it exercise, I like to call it trimnastics, how much fun it really can be, and I want to show you that you can do it. Does that make sense? I'm going to show you how you can firm up your bust line, how you can take down your waist and firm up your hips, how you can get rid of those ugly pounds, all of these things from me to you. Are you with me? Now I'm going to show you just how easy and simple and how much fun this all is. Now get up on your feet, that's it, and give me a great big smile. All right, that's it. Now stay right there. Now put your hands on your hips. Now first take your right leg lifted up, then your left leg. Now I'm sure you can do, sure you can do that. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now that wasn't very hard. Remember now, this is our first day together. I don't want you students to overdo. We're just gonna take it easy, just like climbing up stairs. One day we take, well, I mean, we take one stair at a time. One step, two step, three steps, four steps. And before we know it, we're right up there where we wanna be. All right. Now, how would you like a good movement to help to firm up the thigh right along in here? Huh, would you? Put your hands on your hips. Huh? And just extend it right out to the side. Ready, begin. One, two, three. Four, one, two, and three. That's it. Two, three, one, two, three. All right, the other side. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Out and in and out and in. And one, and two, three, four. And rest. One, two. Very good. Now, when we did this one, we worked the front porch. I have to tell you about our little terminology that we have. This is the front porch, this is the side porch, and this is the back porch. You know what we need for equipment, I forgot to tell you? An ordinary chair, such as this. That's it. Can be one of your kitchen chairs or dining room chairs, whatever you have handy. And that is only about the only equipment we're gonna need for right now. How's this sound to you, huh? Fun? All right, now I'm gonna show you something real fine to help to firm up the old hips, the back part. Hang on to your chair. That's like that, bend over a little bit, then lift your leg up as high as you can. Ready, begin. One, slow, up. Down, keep your head up, and two, and three, and four, and up, and down, and one, and two, and then up, and down, and rest. All right, now take a deep breath, inhale through your nose, let me hear it. Hold out. Now the other leg, ready? Back away, a little more, a little more, that's it, begin. One, two, three, four, one, a two, and three, and four, one, two, three, four, up, down, and rest. That's it. Hey, boys and girls, you know you are Jack Lane's helper. It's your job, you boys and girls, to get mother wherever she is. If she's busy around the house doing the dishes or she's uh, busy doing something else, you go over and grab her by the arm and you say, Mother Jack Lane is waiting. He has a lot of wonderful things to show you and tell you. All righty. Now I'm going to show you how simple this all is. We're going to start out and we're going to work the body from the bottom of the feet right up to the top of your cute little head. You with me? All right. This first movement we're going to do, it's going to work from the knees down to help you have more beautiful ankles and help you have a nice, uh, youthful looking lower leg. Put your heels together, your toes facing outward. Tummy in, that's it. Head up, shoulders back. Now we're going to rise up on our toes and down on our heels. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. Up we go, down we go, up we go, down we go, up, down, one, two, three, four, and rest, one, two, that's fine. Now, next we're gonna do something for the front of the upper leg, right here, thigh. 
Hang on to your chair. First, lift your right leg up in the air. Right there, that's it. Then extend your lower leg. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and rest. One, two, very good. Now your left leg up, begin. One, two, three, four. One, a two, a three, and four. One, a two, three, four, and rest. One, two, there. Now, what's the opposite from the uh, upper leg? The front of the upper leg? The back of the upper leg. Now, here's what we do this. Extend your leg to the back and uh, just flex your lower leg. Begin. One, two, three, four. One, a two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. And rest. One, two. All right, the other leg. Begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. And rest. One, two. You know, students, you don't mind my calling your students, as I told you. I like to consider myself as your personal physical instructor, your health consultant, you know? I'm so excited this morning. This being our first day together, me being in your home and you going along with me and having this fun. I'm so excited what's going to happen. Not what's going to happen to me, but what's going to happen to you. I have made up my mind that I am going to get you in the best condition that you've ever been in your entire life. I'm going to have you looking beautiful and glamorous from your toes right to the end of your fingers. The only thing I'm asking you is to not miss one of these little sessions because I'm going to be with you every day at this hour and I sure appreciate your support which I need very very badly if you appreciate what I'm doing coming into your home every day like this just tell your friend about the Jack Lane show on this station every day when you do that just send somebody a card or the telephone or when you go down doing your shopping just tell them about our little get together we have to work this thing out as together as a team you know you're there and I'm here and what a team we're gonna make huh mm, you watch and see excited about it smile give me a big smile that's the way now here is a movement that's um, very very good for the sides of the waist right along in here bend over feel feel here you have a little bit too much uh, fat flabby fat there huh all right, we're going to show you a nice, simple bending exercise. Heels together, knees stiff. We're going to bend first to the right, then to the left. Ready, begin. One, two, and three, four, and right, and left, and right, and left, and right, and left, and right we go, and left we go, and right we go, left and right, and left, and right, and left, and right, that's it, a couple more, one, and two, and rest, one, two. Did you feel that a little bit right in the waist? And when you're doing this movement, try to keep your hips tight and pull your tummy in and shoulders back and head up all the time and a big smile on your face. All right, now I want you to sit down in your favorite chair for just a moment, because I have something that, that's going to be of utmost importance to you and to me. All right, let's get back to our gymnastics. Here comes the chair bit. This chair, as I've told so many of my students in the past, that uh, it can be a heaven on earth or a hell on earth. By spending too much time sitting in this old chair, you get flabbier and softer and more out of condition. But if you use this chair, like we're going to right now, you can make yourself firmer and more beautiful and healthier and more vital, more alive. Try this one. Here's one for the old midsection. We're going to help and uh, Firm up and get in condition these old, loose, flabby stomach muscles. Scoot right down to your chair. That's it. First, your right knee into your chest, then your left knee into your chest. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. All the way in. That's it. Two and three, four and one, two and in and out and one, two, three and four. And in we go, out we go. One and two and three and four and rest that's it you may notice at first that some of these movements may be a little uh, uncomfortable for you they may get you a little tired perhaps or uh, your coordination isn't as good as it should be but in just a short while in a few days i promise you this that body of yours will start to get more snap and more energy and pep and you'll be able to just fly through these exercises they'll be just simple for you and each day we're going to give you a little something new new ideas and as we go along well i'm going to tell you more about that later too how would you like something real great now for your ankles and the lower leg? Hang on to your back of your leg, just like this. Now, inscribe a circle with your foot. Begin. One, two, three, 
and forth and round we go round and 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 rest. Boy, is that a wonderful one to trim up the old ankle. That's pretty important for you gals, isn't it? That ankle is tough to cover it up. It's exposed most of the time. Now the other leg, ready, begin. Round and round and round. Then round and 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 rest. That's it. Inhale. You know what just popped in my head? Do you have a hobby? Do you? Well, I know many of you have hobbies, but many of you don't have hobbies. I can think of no better, finer hobby than what we're doing here. These trimnastics and all little ideas about nutrition I'm going to uh, talk to you and show you about that you'll be able to follow out. And your hobby is going to be the most sensational hobby that you have ever participated in in your entire life. Something that's going to help you to make life really worthwhile. Ah, how about the hands? Look at your hands. Come here, come here, Mom. Come here. Look at your hands. Have you ever examined your hands? What a, your hands are, they're uh, truly a masterpiece that the good Lord above here has uh, done with these. What a fabulous job. Man could never uh, invent any machine or that could do the job of the hands. What do you ever do to keep them in condition? Not very much probably, huh? Let's think about it. Right now, let me show you something real great to help to improve these hands of yours. Put them out in front of you, clench your fist, and straighten your hands. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four. 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 Palms up. That's it, knuckles together. One, two, three. Now, a little fast. That's it, come on. And rest, that's good. Wow, did you feel them? Now shake your hands, shake them, shake them, shake them. Shake them, shake them. All right, take your right hand, put it in the palm of your left hand, push hard, push hard. What do you see? You notice your nails now are blood red. All the blood has rushed down to your hands. So some of you students that are troubled with arthritis and rheumatism, it'll help to give you some relief. Or if your hands are all wrinkled and all out of condition, this will help to uh, make them the way you want them to be. Let's shake them again. Shake them. That's it. Shake them. Come on. Shake them. Fine. Now, a wonderful movement to help to firm up your bus line and to improve your posture. Here's the movement now. Arms extended in front of you. Clench your fist. Arms back. Head up. And cross your arms like this. Begin. One, two, three, and four, and one. A two and three and four and back and front. Oh, front. See what you're doing wrong? You're bending your elbows. The moment you bend your elbow, then you, uh, you're going to lose about half of the benefit of this particular movement. So keep your arms locked stiff now. Come on, ready? Begin. One. That's better. And two and three and one. A two and three and four and one. A two and three and four and rest. One, two, three. Hey, fine. Now take a deep breath. Let me hear it. Inhale. Hold out. Once again. Let me explain something too before we get too far. But breathing, how important breathing is, especially after we've done an exercise, you're a little out of breath, and nature wants more oxygen to supply nature's demands by giving her more oxygen and exhaling, getting rid of the waste materials. I'd like to have you inhale through your nose. You know, inhaling, then we filter the air and we put it the right temperature when it goes into the lungs. And we can control the breath better. It also helps to clean out the sinuses. So many of you students uh, smoke a lot and it helps to get the tars and all the uh, mucus and things out of the sinuses. That uh, helps to filter. Then when we exhale, we purse our lips and whoosh, you tense your stomach muscles, just like you're collapsing a bag and you blow all the old stale air out. See, you can let it out real fast. So you inhale through your nose, blow it out through your mouth. All righty. Uh, I'd like to have you Pay very close attention. May I have your undivided attention for just a moment because I want to uh, talk to you about something. May I? Okay. Now that uh, I have a date to come into your home every day, we do have a date, I hope. Will you promise me something right now? Say, Jack, I promise that I'm going to let you come into my home for at least this week, this five days, today through Friday. And if you're not more than satisfied with how you're going to feel and what I'm going to show you and going to help you with, then forget about it. You can turn on a Westerner or something else, some comic, you know, where you can be entertained. I'm not here to entertain you. I'm here to help you. But I'm sure that you will be more than satisfied with the results you're going to get. As long as we're close friends and if you let someone come into your home, you know, you like to um, know a little something about them. Well, I have been in this profession of uh, nutrition and physical culture work for over 20 years. For the first 
15 years of my life, I was not expected to live on several occasions. In fact, I'm going to tell you the story next Friday, but uh, I, when I talk to you about aches and pains and about disease, well, I've really had my share of them. And I know what it is to be sick, and I know what it is to be well. And I know that regardless of you or how out of condition you are or what your weight is, I mean, your, uh, what your condition is or anything about you, that you can actually be reborn again. Because I was, re be I was reborn again when I started uh, in this profession of uh, physical culture work by eating properly and exercising a little bit every day. And you can do the same thing. As I told you, and that more than 20 years that I have been in this profession, I have learned so many fantastic, wonderful things. And, and these are secrets, and I'm going to pass these secrets on to you. I want you to accept them and try to use these uh, little secrets, these things that I'm going to pass on to use them in your everyday living. They're going to be so easy to follow, and uh, it's going to make life so worthwhile. So we're going to, I want you to think of, of not how you are today, but I want you to picture in your mind what you're going to be. You know, I have never seen an ugly woman in my life. I really haven't because I'm not looking how she is right today. I'm looking what she can be. So that's what I want you to do. If you have a few extra pounds around the tummy, if you're hanging and sagging and you don't have the pep and energy you should have, well, we're going to work this thing out together. I'm going to show you how to normalize that weight of yours, how to firm yourself up, and how to regain and recapture that loss of vigor, that enthusiasm, that zest and pep that you once had for living. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of those aches and pains because the only thing we're going to do, students, we're going to assist nature. As I told you now, the facts and figures that I'm going to give you up here every day, they're proven facts and figures. They're just not uh, someone up here talking because all of these things, they've been uh, proven scientifically. The reports from the medical profession, all the top scientists and all of the these things have been proven with years of, in this profession and with thousands upon thousands of students. And believe me, if you want to start doing some 100% fabulous living, then let's be close friends. I'm going to come into your home every day, let me stay there, and see what's going to happen. All right? Now let's get back to our gymnastics. You know this problem, as people go without physical activity, you know, where the, the muscle and the good lean tissue of the body atrophies and it's replaced by ugly fat that makes you girls look older and you lose your figure, you lose all your femininity. And the same with you fellas too, you lose your uh, masculine qualities. What are we going to do about this? Only two things really you can do. Number one, the prime thing, is to exercise the parts that are getting flabby. And number two is watching your nutrition, eating more protein especially, and more natural foods to help to build up good tissue instead of building up a lot of fat that all these starches and sugars and things will build up. Now students, I know a lot of you have specific problems. You'd like to improve certain parts of your body and you'd like a little help other than our get together here. You'd like to spend a few minutes during the day but you don't know exactly what to do. Well, now I have the answer to all of your problems. The new long play, high fidelity, Glamour Stretcher Time Record. This long play record, students, it has all these special exercises here for every part of that body. If you want to firm up the, the chest muscle to give you a better looking bust line or the arms or the lower leg or whatever the case might be, all the exercises are on this record and all the information's on the special chart that goes with it. And naturally, accompany the record that makes it the most important of all students is the Glamour Stretcher. You use the Glamour Stretcher as you listen to me give you instructions on the record, and Dave Bacall is playing his wonderful stirring music. What a combination. You know, I like to consider this, students. This is a, the tools. I have a toolkit to help to firm up and improve every part of that body of yours to make you feel better and look better fast. Now, here it is. Let me show you the special toolkit which you're getting today. The Long Play Record the Glamour Stretcher, and the Instruction Chart. And how much is this going to cost you? $20, $30? It should cost that much because it's worth it. You're going to get all of this $9 value for only $5. Now, students, here is the secret of improving that figure of yours the easy, fun way by spending just a few fun minutes a day. When you call in or write in, just say you want special number 12. This is for a very limited time. Special number 12. Now, here's the number to call for COD orders for special number 12. Remember, it's only $5. 
For COD orders for special number 12, call Richmond 91461. That's Richmond 91461. Remember, you only pay $5 plus a small COD charge. Or else you can send your check, cash, or money order to me personally. That's Jack LaLanne, Post Office Box 1311, Hollywood 28. Jack LaLanne, Post Office Box 1311, Hollywood 28. Once again, for COD orders, call Richmond 91461. One, or if it's more convenient, just address an envelope to me and send $5 to Jack LaLanne, Post Office Box 1311, Hollywood 28. Do it today. I'm going to give you something now, but you've never done before. Uh, a few years ago, I wrote a, a book on care of the face, how to uh, actually do facelifting by making faces, by exercising the muscles in the face. Well, people thought I was crazy. But now there have been so many big articles written in the national magazines and the big papers about how you can do facelifting by facial exercise. Well, it makes sense. If I was going to firm up my stomach, if my stomach was all flabby and hanging around, I would exercise and it would, it would uh, become firm. Am I right? Well, the same thing with my face. If, if I don't use these muscles in my face, they become flabby. They hang and sag and fat accumulates on them and it hangs and sags more. So right now I'm going to show you a few good exercises, how to get rid of that jowly look something to firm up the chin line and the neckline. Now try them, this is a lot of fun. The first thing we're gonna do is open your mouth as wide as you can. Come on now, try this. Now purse your lips. Oh, come on, don't laugh at me, please. This, this is serious business. I know it doesn't look too great. It looks a little funny perhaps to you, but uh, it's gonna make you look so much better so far as firming up the muscle in your face is concerned. All right, again, open your mouth as wide as you can. Come on, purse your lips. Good. Now, purse your lips and turn your face from side to side. Watch me. Okay, go. Mm, that's it. Good. Oh, now, open your eyes and your mouth wide. Come on. Now, close your eyes and mouth tight. Wonderful. Now, I know it looks kind of funny, doesn't it? Oh, but you feel it right in here? It just firms them right up. Now, something for the chin and the neck. Take your hand like this. Put your hand on your forehead. Push your head back. A little gentle pressure, chin on your chest. Begin. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and rest. One, two, three, four. Ah, very good. It's fine. Now I want you to be seated for just a second. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm up here to help you as much as I can. If you have any problems, if you have any questions that you would like to ask me, why don't you just drop me a letter or a little postcard, something like that, in care of this station, and I'll do the best I can to answer your questions for you. Don't be afraid to ask me. Use me. I, you know, I'm up here for one reason, to help you. So send your cards and letters in with any kind of question you want answered, and we'll see if I can answer it for you to help you a little more to get in shape quicker. There is a movement that we are going to be using up here quite often. It's a bicycle exercise where we sit in a chair like this and uh, we kind of like we're riding a bicycle. Well, I know this is a little difficult for you right now, but we're going to show you uh, the prerequisite, the first movement you have to learn in order to be able to do this uh, movement. Take your left leg and just do this. Begin. That's it. Very good. That's for the thigh and the tummy. Very fine. That's enough. Now the other leg, begin. One, two, and three, and four, and right, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and rest. One, two. Very good. That wasn't so hard. Now we're going to do a bicycle ride, but we're going to take a pretend you're on a real little tiny bike. I'll show you how it's done first. Just do both legs together like this. Begin. There we go. Fine. That's it. Just easy. Dee -dee -dee -dee. That's the way. Fine. 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 And rest. Inhale. Do you realize what we've done already in just a few minutes, students? We have worked the body from the toes all the way up to the head. You didn't realize that, huh? We worked the feet, the hands, the stomach, the hips and you thought exercise was hard. These gymnastics are fun, believe me, they are. This is just what the doctor ordered and the good Lord above. You think he's not smiling down on you for making an effort? 
to keep that body that he has loaned to you to go through this life with you? I think he's not happy about you keeping a condition. You know, students, what the good book says, that our bodies are God's living temples. But how many tumble-down shacks do you see as you walk around the streets, huh? Plenty of them. People that are pretty much out of shape. Ungrateful, I'd call it. Somebody gave me a wonderful present, like the good Lord gave me this body. And when they don't keep the present in good condition, doesn't that show lack of gratitude? Huh? Sure it does. How about something for the front of the arm? Now, you know, the front of the arm pretty important for you girls because you wear dresses that expose your upper arm. Now, just like this, up and down. Ready, begin. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and up and down, and one, and two, and three, and four. Up we go, down we go, up we go, down we go, up and down, and one, two, three, four, and rest. Fine. Now, how about the back of the arm? That's very important, isn't it? That's something you see with you girls, that flabby uh, back of the upper arm. I'll show you how it's done. Scoot right down, bend over a little more, 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 that's it. Now elbows up high and extend your lower arm. Ready, begin. One, two, get your arms up a little higher, students. There we go, now you got it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and rest. One, two, Three. Perfect. Inhale. Now, will you pay close attention for just a moment? I have something that I want to talk to you about right from my heart. I don't know where that half hour went, but it surely went by. Thanks very much for letting me come into your home. Don't forget to tell your friends about the Jack Lane show on this uh, station. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. And may the good Lord bless and keep you. I hope he blesses and keeps especially you. Keep a big smile on your face, good cheer in your heart, because I'll be thinking of you wherever you are. God bless you. Goodbye. Bye, Mother. Bye, boys and girls. Have fun. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jack Lane, for another inspiring half hour. If you appreciate what this dedicated man is doing for your health and figure, then tell a friend about the Jack Lane Show, this channel daily. <laughs>